Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. My name's Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com and in today's tutorial we're going to slice and dice some tuples. Um, if you have followed along in our previous tutorials where we sliced up some strings and uh, also list, uh, you, pretty, you probably have this covered. Um, if not, uh, go ahead and follow along, but uh, if you feel pretty confident in slicing up tuples, go ahead and move on to the next video. Um, but this would be a great review for some of you that uh, maybe struggle with it or don't completely understand slicing. So um, we're going to slice up some tuples. It's no different, like I said, than strings or lists, but uh, you know, it's great to uh, review or even cover everything. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's create a tuple. A is going to represent our tuple. And I'm going to do 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Um, so I really don't want to jump into indexing, but if you're just jumping in here to learn how to slice up a tuple, you got to remember um, everything in slicing or any time working with a sequence data type like a tuple, um, we use index positions. So the reason why I went 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 is indicating the actual index position. So 0, 1, 0 is 0, 1 is 1, 2 is 2, and so on, all right, for the index position. So that's how um, we slice uh, sequences. So let's go ahead and grab one object for now. So we'll do A. So what we're doing here is calling our tuple. When we call our tuple, we say, hey, we want the tuple. Then we put a square bracket. This in the case of Python is, hey, we want to slice. So I want to get the second object contained in our data type, the tuple data type up here. So I'm going to use one. All right, and then close out our square bracket and hit return. Python returns a one to us. So what it did was it went to the tuple that's represented by A, went up here, and said, okay, you want the first index position. The first index index position would be zero, one, right here, all right? And then it returns it to us. We can do that some more. We can do A square bracket four, hit return, you get four, A square bracket two, Get two, all right. So that's slicing a sing single object from a um, from a tuple. Now we could also go backwards instead of going from left to right. We can go right to left, and we use a negative number like a one. Negative one will return five. Uh, let's do another one. A negative three is going to return three. All right. Um, so going backwards is a little different because you don't start at zero like you do from left to right left to right you start at zero from right to left you start at uh, one negative one I should say um, so we can slice back that way alright so that's that's grabbing a single object slicing a single object from a tuple how about slicing uh, numerous objects from a tuple well we can do that using a colon the same technique though a square bracket oh, no, square bracket, square bracket uh, one colon five square bracket. Hit return. We get one, two, three, and four. So what happened there? Well, up here we start at one, so it goes to the first index position, which is the second object in our tuple, and it goes two, three, four, and stops at the fifth index position. Well, why doesn't it return the um, fifth index position? Well, it always goes up to Index, index position but doesn't return that one alright so it always stops one before it uh, let's see here let's do a couple more let's do a square bracket for uh, square bracket alright so what happened here alright so we're, sli we're slicing um, multiple objects but we're saying hey start at four but we're not giving you an ending point so in this case Python will slice the tuple from the fourth index position, which is here, and go all the way to the end of the tuple. So in this case, it ends at five, so it returns five to us. Uh, so this is kind of like going a square bracket four colon six square. Get that, and it returns us the um, four and five. So we're actually going past the fifth index position and stopping out here somewhere in no man's land saying, hey, return the whole thing to us, all right? We could also do uh, A, square bracket, 
Uh, sorry, I had to pause the video. A square bracket, and then we don't give it starting index position. Then we give a colon, and then we just throw a number out there. Uh, I got to be on it. All right, hit return. We get zero, one, two, three, four, and five, or three and four, and we're not um, getting five because we stopped at the fifth index position. But we didn't give a starting point. So in this case, Python will start slicing from the left side, from the beginning of the tuple to the ending stop point. All right, so we know how to slice um, multiple objects at one time. But how about now we slice with a skip? So say we want to slice every other number. How would we do that? Well, we can do A, square bracket, uh, colon, and then we're going to do another colon, and we're going to do two, square bracket. So now on this one, we're saying, hey, start at the beginning and stop at the end, and I want you to return every other number. Hit return. We hit start at zero, skip one, return two, skip three, and return four. And it also skips five. Um, so whatever number we give here is our skipping number. All right, so let's try it again. Let's do uh, A square bracket zero colon six because we want to return the whole string. And we're going to skip by three square bracket hit return. We get zero and three because we're skipping two numbers. Um, we're going from 0, 1, and 2 are skipped. Return 3, five, uh, 4, 5 are skipped. All right. So that is slicing and dicing and skipping and whatever else uh, we did today's tutorial in Python. If you have any questions, please leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. We'll see you in the next one.